Well, just like authorities all across the country are, are, are huge squeezes around adult social care, but it's actually taken up about 65% of our spend at the moment, and that means that everything else we have to do is squeezed into that last 35%. And since 2010, our, our, essentially our real terms cut is about £200 million. Uh, and this is just hitting us all over, and we've had a series of... Uh, campaigns and protests in the city about libraries, parks, and only today, actually, I sat in a room with uh, my cabinet talking about whether we reduce the amount, uh, reduce the frequency of grass cutting in our mm. parks as well. So this but, is really cutting us, cutting us to the bone. But we know that there's still more to come. There's 1.3 billion cuts to come in England next year. What else are you going to cut? Well, there, there is nowhere else to cut without people being hurt. And we said this from the beginning. I think it's one of the massive oversights of central government, actually, that no one has come to us and talked about the cost of the cuts. It was something that was referred to in your package a bit, that if we, if we are not investing in children's mental health, in supporting families to remain in their homes, in the early interventions that local government is on the front end of delivering, it will turn up yeah. as a cost in the next two or three years and a more expensive cost because we end up spending money on crises yeah. uh, that, that's come back from our withdrawal rather than doing the, the lower cost early interventions. Jared Lyons, you, you recognise that. There, there, is no, there is no slack in councils now. You're mm. cutting, the cuts are to the bone and have actually been deleterious for a lot of people. Yeah, well, I think austerity needs to end. I said it should have ended a few years ago. I think it's important to stress, actually, in terms of this issue, even though the current problems are acute, there's no easy answers. And there's been countless reviews of local authority spending since the late city 60s, actually. Kilbradham yeah. report, Bradley, the yeah. Layfield Commission in the early 70s said that you either go to the centre or you devolve to the local areas. But so you we're can't replaying... devolve to the local areas yeah. when you've got such a low tax base. Absolutely. And that's the issue. I think we need a radical change. I think we need to have a simple system, a modern system and a fairer system. But and that implies lots of different things that we can come on to. Does it, Joanne, a, a, a wholesale rethinking of what local government can and should provide? And also you're losing, presumably, over the last years of austerity, we're just talking about children's services there, you're losing a lot of expertise that's going to be hard to get back into councils. Absolutely, and that's where you find councils um, outsourcing and bringing in consultants, uh, and, and that's much, much more expensive than if we could have retained the staff and delivered services in houses ourselves. So. So, so, in terms of what you think that local authorities going forward should do, I mean, you just heard there Marvin Rees saying they're going down to talking about how often they should cut the grass. Maybe it's not local authorities' job, maybe the community acts differently, maybe there's a new way of doing it. Well, we have been saying this um, for about the last decade now. Um, I've been working, um, for example, in different roles with um, town and parish councils, voluntary organisations, community and residence organisations, um, to exactly um, try to manage some of these um, issues and, and actually sort of play up localism in, yeah. in local communities. However, I still feel that that is a slightly disingenuous way for central government to passport these economic difficulties down, down to line. residents and communities where actually they've made political decisions to defund these services. It, it's, it's true, isn't it, that the local, local government services were a disproportionate brunt of it austerity given what they had to do for their populations. Absolutely and that therefore needs to change. In terms of where the money comes from you have central government, you have business rates, you have council tax or local fees. Now you actually need to change the whole system. We can't go to the idea that you have more spending and higher taxes. You need a more efficient way of doing this well, and that's the issue. Well Marvin Rees you're, you're, you're having to do this for Bristol Art. What is the kind of the blue skies thinking about how you transform the council over the next few years? Well, first of all, I want to say you can't have a, a reasoned conversation about how you reinvent local government from a position of crises mm -hmm. and desperation. And that's what we're being thrown into. We're on the, the back foot, but we are trying to do that. But what I would also say is the conversation around the role and, and scope of local government can't be taken without thinking about the role and scope of national government too. And I think one of the things we're witnessing in this country and actually around the world at the moment are the very real limitations on the ability of national governments to deliver inequality, housing, population health, migration, they are failing. And I think what we need is a reinvention of governments that actually mm -hmm. uh, uplifts the power and presence of net international networks of cities to shape national and international policy. We need to rebalance the sovereignty in this country. But also, it, it, when you're doing that, at the same time, you've got to get the lollipop men and women on the street. So 
what do you do by way of, I mean, we're, we're, you know, they're talking about uh, you know, if you get a good Brexit deal, we're not going to talk about Brexit, but you know, what Theresa May was also saying, you know, if you get a good re Brexit view, a, a deal is going to be a great spending review next year. You're going to be able to keep, you know, going to borrow more against housing. You're going to keep more of your tax receipts. Is it simply giving you more budget actually going to solve the problem? Well, we are we are actually in, in the process of Bristol and of reinventing the way we do government. Yeah. And, and it, last night I was with a group of business leaders and I said one of the things that we need them to do is not just to see us as a source of services, mm -hmm. but see us as a as a place, a channel through which they can bring their resources to help us deliver the kind of city we all actually want. As someone said in Bristol, riots are not good for inward investment. And it's actually essential that we provide the services and make the interventions we need to have coherent, resilient uh, societies. But we're trying to mobilise uh, voluntary activity uh, in the city. We're trying to mobilise uh, business investment as well in the kind of interventions uh, we want because I think it's across the board that people recognise that this is a desperate situation and it's going to cost uh, cities and the country more money in the immediate, uh, uh, medium and long term. But if you look at, I mean, I don't know, Br Bristol's tax base is better, but if you look at what Helen Thomas was saying about some uh, cities and towns in the northeast where the tax base is very low, what chance do they have over the next year? Because it's in the next year that you have to deliver this, I think it's 1.3 billion in England. Yeah, well, it's going to be very challenging for them. And we, we do have, the, 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 you know, a, a strong economy down here. And uh, that's, mm. that's something that, uh, that we, we are, are very well, thankful for. But yeah, we recognise that other places around the country are going to have a, a desperate situation so, as well. But this so is not so a race like, to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, so so like, what do you do? Do you actually get the central government to establish a better regional policy? Well, that's one aspect of it. But in terms of being fair, say the Centre for Social Justice, a think tank, they've talked about the five pathways to poverty. And it's areas such as family breakdown, down, a lack of educational attainment, drugs, addiction, lack of work. Those areas, the, the first line of defence shouldn't always be the local authorities. We need to look in at other areas. If we're thinking of it being modern, the Mayor's touched on the key issue. The OECD international think tanks have talked about fiscal devolution. Mm -hmm. When I worked at City Hall, the London Finance Commission talked about devolving more power. That makes people accountable. And also modern ways using technology. Mm -hmm. Vivid Economics, a consultancy in London, have shown recently how you can use mobile phone data to show that the people who use parks aren't necessarily the people living in the area. So there's lots of ways that we've got to think differently. At the end of the day, the problem needs to be addressed. You can't have areas in acute poverty is now. We do have the fair funding formula yeah. the government's yeah. proposed. That goes some other way, but clearly, as my fellow guests are highlighting, we need to do even more. But also there's still a role for central government mm. and, and to review the way that Absolutely. they fund services because you, you never okay. hear people saying, well, you know, the, the NHS you know, can't have any more money. And um, if you actually think about things in a siloed way, then um, that's what, where you're going to get to. Whereas health and social care, for example, is a much, much wider system mm -hmm. and a wider economy. And so you need to think about funding in those terms and devolve um, the, the funding and the system to think about healthcare economies locally, as you say, with those wider determinants about housing. Poor housing costs the NHS about 1.4 billion a year, for example. Thank you all very much indeed.